Welcome back, everyone. In our last video, we saw that we have, we have uh, the internet and MPLS both up. Uh, traffic from R1 to R2 will go over the fabric, but it will be load balanced between the two transports. So I wanted to make a policy to prefer one over the other. Now, the thing we have to do, though, is we have to do something with the vSmart because OMP is very similar to BGP. And in this case, it's very similar to a BGP route reflector where vSmart is gonna be our BGP route reflector, um, but it's actually our OMP uh, control plane. So if we look in here, we see that we're in CLI mode for the vSmart and we can't push policies if it's in CLI mode. We can only push policies if it's in vManage mode. So we're gonna make some quick templates. Um, this isn't gonna be anything you really haven't seen before, um, but I'll just go through very quickly and then I'll make, I'll end the video and then start another one for actually pushing one policy. So we're gonna make a VPN zero. We're just gonna call this vSmart VPN zero. Um, we're gonna do basic configuration. You see we only have two choices. We have VPN zero or VPN 512. Uh, the vSmarts don't have the ability to have a service side VPN. So we'll call it uh, transport. Um, we don't really need any of this other stuff. Uh, we don't need any IP routes because we're going to use OMP for that. Um, so let's go ahead. Uh, actually, you know what? I, I lied. We do need one route. Sorry, looking back at our diagram. We need the default route to the cloud router. So, otherwise we would lose our connection to all of our devices. Address, I'm just gonna hard code it quite honestly. Um, it's 199.111. Um, 254 is the next hop. So we have a default route to that next hop. And I'm going to hard code it because we only have one vSmart. There's no need for me to really mess with the templating too much. So let's save that. Let's create an interface. vSmart, let's make an interface. Let's call it vSmart. VPN zero interface. Actually, we'll just copy and paste it. All right, we're gonna no shut the interface. Our interface name is ETH one. In this case, um, it is a static IP address, and I'll set this one as a device specific. Um, it does need to be a tunnel. So if we didn't set this, we would lose all of our tunnel connections to all the devices. So let's set SSH on, let's set net, net conf on. Um, don't believe we need anything else on the interfaces. Let's save. All right. And now we can quickly make our management VRF or VPN, excuse me. VSmart VPN 512. This one is going to be 512. We'll give it a name. Management. And in this case, we really don't need anything else. So this is a really quick config on that. We do need a template for the interface. So again, we'll just do vSmart VPN 512 interface. Global no shut interface name. This one is ETH zero. And we'll make this device specific. This one doesn't need to be a tunnel interface, it's just management. So we're good to go there. And that should be all we need. Um, 
So let's go ahead and create a device template. We'll do it from a seal, I mean, a picture template. Go down to vSmart. We'll just call it vSmart for our template. And let's go ahead and create our VPN zero. We'll add our interface to the VPN zero interface. 512, add the 512 interface. All right. And that's it. So now let's attach devices. We only have one vSmart, so not much of a choice there. We'll edit our device values. So our IP address, oh, you know what? That was silly of me. Here's why you probably want to change your device specific things to make it more you know, easy to see from first glance. But if you hover over, you can't see. So I see this is Ethernet 0 or 512. So it's not the end of the world if you don't plan properly, but it's also a lot easier if you do, you know, go ahead and 199.1.1.2 slash 24. And if you're wondering where I'm, I got these values, if, if you kind of forgot, when I originally configured my vSmart, this is my VS, vSmart CLI, I went ahead and manually configured the system IP, the site ID. Um, I configured VPN zero, Ethernet one with this, you know, here, and here's my default route in VPN zero. So this was covered earlier in the course. If you, if you just happen to jump in here, um, the host name is going to be vSmart one. System IP, I have this one, 1.1.1.2. 1 .1 .1 and my site ID is one. All my controllers are in site one. So let's go ahead and update. This is going to just verify my syntax. Just make sure I have everything correct. 9199 1.1.2. We just confirm that 199 1.1.2, 1991124. Uh, 1991124. Okay. So we're good to go. I can configure my VSmart. All right, so that's a success. So now we can go back into devices, controllers, and we could see that our vSmart is now in vManage mode. So on the next video, I'll go ahead and push a policy.